Hey guys, it's Victoria and welcome back to Femhead. Today I'm going to create my spring capsule wardrobe with you. This is always a very exciting season because it could be anywhere from 20 degrees to 70 degrees. It can make for a difficult capsule wardrobe, but I'm also just very flexible with my wardrobe and if I need to add stuff and take stuff out, I'm not going to feel bad about that. So make sure you're not too strict on yourself. Another fun factor, I suppose, is my growing midsection. So I have no idea what to expect in the coming months, what size I'm going to be, what's going to fit and what's not going to fit. So I'm going to be super flexible in what I am adding and taking out. But I'm definitely going to start with not including things that already don't fit and then feeling free to take stuff out as it doesn't fit because there's no use in keeping stuff in my capsule that I'm not going to wear because it does not fit me. I recently cleaned out and reorganized my closet and what I did was I just put all of my clothing on this side to keep that side open. So I have all of my clothing over here and I've just kind of put it all of my sleeveless things, short sleeve, long sleeve, cardigans, sweaters, sweatshirts, hoodies, jackets, dresses, I always like to look up the upcoming weather and kind of the highs and lows of each month. So March is supposed to be lows of 28 and highs of 52, but that's definitely not true already because it's freezing outside. April is supposed to be highs of 65, lows of 40, and then May is highs of 75 and lows of 51. So like I said, it could just be such a range. So we're just going to kind of go through, pull pieces that I want to have this season, as well as things that are weather appropriate and size appropriate that are going to fit me. So let's start with the hanging things and then we will go into pants because that is the fun section of it all. So thankfully most of my short sleeve things are very flowy. I do have one maternity cami already. Some of these are exercise ones so I'm going to put those in a different section. So I'm just going to start hanging the things I want to keep right over here. All right, so I've kind of gone through and grabbed an initial just section of clothing that I like. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna shove everything else as far back as possible because I'm not going to need to filter through it that much. As for this container, I don't know how my shorts are going to fare this spring and summer. I do have a belly band, so that's definitely an option. I have two skirts in here actually that aren't going to work at all. So I have two pairs of maternity leggings and one pair of maternity jeans. I kind of left my capsule a bit bigger than I normally would because I don't know what to expect and so I'll just kind of change it as need be. Alright, so the two jackets that I have that you guys have definitely already seen is this green army style jacket and my denim jacket. These will both definitely still fit and once it's warm enough to where I don't need a coat outside but maybe need a little jacket or sweater, these will be great. But it will probably at least be another month till I can wear those. While I was in Phoenix the first time, I got two jumpsuits thought they would be a good option because my pants I was taking didn't fit and I just really didn't want a waistband. Army green one, this kind of striped one. They weren't warm enough to wear here. My bump was in a weird place to where I just looked bloated and so it wasn't cute to have more fitted jumpsuit things. So once my bump gets where it's cute, I'm gonna start wearing these. These overall shorts that you guys have seen and they're already kind of pretty big on me. I even took them in. So these will be awesome this spring and summer. Three dress options. It's just a really flowy yellow dress that will have more than enough room for my bump. Flowy longer length blue and white striped dress that's very like springy and summery and like picnic-y and I love. And then this just black t-shirt dress which I think will be a good option as well. I grabbed this sweater. It's just super oversized dark gray. It's actually a large, but with it being really cold out, I haven't liked an open neckline. So once it does warm up just a little bit to where it's just not freezing, I'll be able to wear this. Three cardigans, light gray one I have, light tan one my mom knit me, and then this maroon one that I love. These are newer additions to my wardrobe, but these are long sleeve shirts. I got this one here at the thrift store. I got this one in the thrift store in Phoenix. And I really love this one. It's going to be too short pretty quickly, but then I think I could tie it up and it'd be cute. And this has plenty of growing room and these are just very loose fitted and flowy. And so that's nice. I grabbed quite a few t-shirts actually. This classic striped one, this one that I wear, it has like a stain on it and a hole on it, but I love it. This is a new one, a dark burnt red color. This isn't a t-shirt, but it's in the t-shirt category. It's just a blue linen button up. 
but it's very flowy. Just gray one. I'm not super excited about the shape of it. Not tucked in. I always tuck my shirts in. I tuck my sweaters in. I tuck everything in. And not being able to tuck stuff in has kind of drove me insane. But it's just an adjustment, I guess. This is a very just flowy gray top. And then this is a new addition. This is an actual like maternity t-shirt and it actually fits really well and it's cute and I think it'll be super cute once my bump's bigger. And then this classic one from Raygun, that's just a black graphic one. And then my camis, sleeveless ones. This is just a plain dark gray sleeveless shirt. So I just have this green flowy one. This is a blue striped maternity cami, which I really enjoy. Flowy sleeveless button up. It's a light blue I like. And then I have this orange kind of sleeveless one which i really like the color of and i think even if when my bump does get big i can tie it up with like a little knot and it'll be cute um and then there's this striped one underneath that i haven't really gotten to wear a lot because it's just been cold since i got it so and that could even be a cute like layering option as i was putting that together like that and then like i said i have two pairs of jeans and two pairs of denim shorts that will work with a belly band but i just don't know how that's going to look this summer and then I have a pair of black maternity jeans, a pair of black maternity leggings, and another pair that are like a blue patterned color. And that is my capsule for the spring. And I think it's gonna work well, but I'm also very curious to see how all those clothes end up fitting once I'm bigger. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if you did. And don't forget to subscribe to Femhead for more of moi. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.